Hello everyone, Pally Tavir. Welcome back to the A through Z playthrough, but we're playing through every hero from Avatar to Tazdingo. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series so far. This is episode number four, and in today's video, we're going to be tackling Artanis. He received a rework, I believe, back in December that drastically changed how his skills work together, which was something I was calling for since they released the character. He can now blade dash and also use the phase prism at the same time, which is a really, really flashy combo that can pull people out of position, but also puts Artanis in harm's way at the same time. Luckily though, he is a very durable character. He can take that punishment in most cases, but his defense is all about unwavering offense. If he stops attacking at any time, he will no longer be generating shields and will be taken down. So if you like flashy, aggressive play, then you may just like Artanis. Our time has come. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves in the Garden of Terror today. The friendly team, Sonya, Genji, Tronda, Whisperindra. Artanis and Diablo, the enemy team, Illidan, what the heck? -a? Sergeant, Hammer, Tassadar, and Murky. Weird game already. P pretty strange. So, let's talk about the past of Artanis. A lot of people used to play Artanis incredibly tanky because his offensive abilities were just kind of lacking behind a little bit. They weren't quite there. And. With the rework, they kind of wanted to give him more playstyle options, more talent options, and for the most part, I think they were pretty successful in doing that. But old... Oh, spin. We gotta spin, boys. We gotta spin, boys. Old Artanis was simply about going in, hoping you don't get CC'd, and then auto-attacking to your heart's content. Uh, which was not the most entertaining way to play in the whole world, I have to say. Now you can do cool things like that swap right there that you saw that secured a kill on Sergeant Hammer. You could dive forward with your Q, use your phase prism to swap positions with the enemy team, and send them into a world of hurt. Which is fun, <laughs> obviously. Uh, pretty enjoyable way to approach the battlefield, and very different from what most other characters are capable of doing in the game right now. I don't want a lane versus a murky, but it kind of looks like that's what's going to happen. If I knew that was the thing, if I knew that was the deal, I would have gone for a uh, season marksman. Then potentially when we kill, I should have destroyed the pufferfish too. Then potentially when we kill him, we get more stacks than we would otherwise. Uh, I was kind of hoping I'd be in a more exciting lane, but you know what? That's okay. So in the past, basically, people would think, as Art think of Artanis as just a character that you hope the enemy team focuses down. He wasn't very popular. I, and again, if you watch my theory crafting video, or at least one of my first impressions video, it always felt so weird that you couldn't combo his things together. So this is one of the few instances where Blizzard actually went back Reworked very few talents. Not many talents were changed at all. But instead, we got a lot of changes to how his basic abilities function. Which I don't think we've seen that again. I don't think we've gotten a rework like that again. Now I could be wrong. Uh, keep in mind that I'm doing this to the best of my recollection and with the resources that I have online. So, um, you know, sometimes I won't get it right. Ooh, look at that swap, though, right into my whole fucking team, and then Diablo moves him out of my whole fucking team. Gotta love Diablos. <laughs> uh, we did pick up Amateur Opponent at level 1, which means we do critical hit damage to PvE objectives like this. And this is one of those talents that I really like. And I think that Artanis' level 1 talent here is way underrated. I think it's pretty cool. So at level 1, you could pick between getting more defenses here against physical attacks, which is good versus certain teams, but not against teams that have really, really fast attackers, like, a, I don't know, a Tyrande and Illidan, but would be pretty decent versus just a Sergeant Hammer because Sergeant Hammer attacks relatively slow. Then you have Amateur Opponent, Twin Blades attacks and deal 150% more damage to non-heroes, which means you can push down objectives really, really easily, uh, like this Garden Terror right over here, if you are so inclined to do so. <laughs> That's not exactly what I wanted. That's not exactly what I wanted. Well, let's see how it goes. We might be able to get to Haka here. Going in on Illidan now. Actually, let's take Murky out of this fight. He should be... Well, never mind. We're dead, boys. Uh, just use abilities. Attack! 
do you notice how long I've survived through three people attacking us there? Do you have the observant eye that also asks questions? Good. We survived because of our shield overload. Team's fault, clear. Yeah, nah, let's not say anything to that. Uh, after taking damage while below 75% health, this used to be below 50% health back in the day, but the shield threshold wasn't... Uh, the shield threshold was a lot higher. So you get shields earlier now, I believe, uh, but it's less of a shield. Uh, anyway, while below 75% health, grants Artanis a 475-point shield for 5 seconds. Basic attack lower the cooldown of this by four seconds. So every time we basic attack, we get cooldown reduction on the shield that helps keep us alive when we're trading in these fights. So, like I said at the beginning, Artanis has to go in. Artanis has to be aggressive because the second Artanis stops attacking, that's the second that he completely loses all advantages. Get back over there. Wait, why are you specifically trying to go this way? What's happening over here? Come back. Come back. I want to fight. Rude! Get over there. <laughs> I don't know. Can we win this? I'm going to try. Oh, shit. Well. Yo. This was a private engagement, Sergeant Hammer? This was a private party? Why are you barge it in like that? What the fuck? Uh, let's see. At level 7, I think we are going to go for Warp Sickness. This takes our crowd control, or our swap ability, and adds a little bit more of a CC mechanic to it after the swap. So it's going to be a little bit of a slow, making it harder for characters like Sergeant Hammer, who hopefully we're going to be thrown back throughout the majority of this game. Makes it a little bit harder for them to reposition after. If Diablo doesn't reposition her for... Yeah, you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. Sergeant Hammer is all up in our towers right now. And the Haka is all up in our towers right now. And that is the playmaking potential of a good Artanis player. Let's specify that I'm not a good Artanis player. But I understand what it takes to be one, I guess, kind of. Like, I'm just not quite mechanically sound here. Uh, let's see if we can help out with this Illidan that was on our Diablo there, but it looks like he is going to be backing up. The enemy team slightly ahead on XP. We can easily get that back off of this minion wave in top and in the minion wave in... Oh, our Sonya's name is team's fault. That's actually funny. Let's just go clear middle really quick. Uh, so what other things has he received in the past? He had some kind of weird interaction with his auto attacks where if he did doubles maybe it wasn't double strike but if he did like an auto attack he would be locked in place a little bit longer than other heroes it didn't quite make sense so it became really difficult for our tennis players to be able to um reposition effectively uh, stop moving him away from me i'm trying to hit your fucking target yo i'm gonna have to say something double Please stop moving Hammer when she's in the middle of our entire team. We had that kill. Okay, good. I mean, I'm just trying to facilitate plays here. And if he's... Let's give him a smiley face. Uh, I'm just trying to, to make plays here. It's hard to do that when he's moving her around. Uh, at level 10, we are going to go for Suppression Pulse. This is a global range, wide area of effect blind for four seconds. So it'll be pretty good versus Sergeant Hammer and Illidan as well. If we can hit both of them, all of their auto attack damage will be stopped for those four seconds. Oh, it should be pretty good. Should be pretty good. All right, let's get back behind this wall here. Focus down this plant as fast as we can. I guess the plant counts as a non-hero. Would not have expected that. Would not have expected that at all. All right, let's get out of the CC. Uh, God, it lasts forever. We can swap the plant, right? Oh, we missed. <laughs> we could blind the plant as well if we wanted to. If we felt like it. We have our plan of our own going out and doing something. Although what that something is, I, I couldn't tell you. Oh, it looks like he's pushing middle down. Okay, let's go down and up. Dodge that. 
We could turn on him pretty easy right now. Beautiful. Unfortunately, he can get out of positions like that, but we'll just swap him back in, boys. Look at that. I'll stay here all day. Tell me I won't. <laughs> okay, okay. So this plant's down. Can we swap? Oh, we could swap, boys. There you go, Sonya. I brought you a present. Uh, let's go ahead and blind. I don't think I'm going to get out of this. So we have to fight. We have to trade. Uh, you are not what? Prepared. I thought he was killed. Kill. Hopefully we can take down this Illidan. Unfortunately, Kenji very low on health. Sonya had to be taken or was taken out of the fight as well. Now Tahaka re-engaging. Kenji extremely low, but Sonya chasing down now with the Wrath of Berserker will be able to finish off the enemy team's Illidan. Tahaka now running for cover as Sonya spinning under the tower with no help from her allies. <laughs> they could have killed him 100%. 100%. Uh, we're going to go for Gravitation Vortex here simply because our, uh, our swaps have been pretty good this game, I would say. Pretty, pretty good swaps, boys. So... What this does is it reduces the cooldown of our E ability by five seconds. Which even if your swaps haven't been that good, it seems like that's a pretty good talent to pick up. Um, at level 16, we have one of those talents that was basically the, the reason to pick Artanis before. I mentioned that people would take him as just a tanky person to soak damage. I mean, he didn't really have that good of CC before. But he did do percentage-based damage with Titan Killer. We'll go ahead and blind here. Sergeant Hammer can still deal damage, so let's try to focus her. Swap her back behind me, so she has to run the other way. Now switching over to Dahaka. Looks like he's gonna be immune, or he's gonna heal up just fine. Let's get out of Sergeant Hammer's range. Now swap, ah! Oh, I was gonna swap Sergeant Hammer back in there. It sucks. Well, the plant's pushing top right now. We need to fall back to that. But basically, you couldn't kill Arctanus. He was doing percentage-based health damage to you. He was super tanky. He was living through everything. But he wasn't really fun to play. He wasn't really fun to play. I hope you could see right now that he's actually a blast to play. And if you wanted to, you could still build tanky. If you wanted to, you could uh, still, like, be a force to be reckoned with as far as percentage-based health damage. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to talk about with the the prism. A lot of people think about it as one dimensionally, or very one dimensionally rather, where if you, we don't need to swap them right now. If, if you see a lot of players in quick match using Artanis, specifically what they typically try to do is diving forward, hitting a max range swap and bringing someone really, really far backwards. But that's just the tip of the iceberg here. You could do things where you immediately use your Q and then your E to put someone on the other side of a wall to escape. Uh, you could do things where uh, you dive forward and immediately use your E and don't wait for the boomerangs to go back in order to hard engage on top of your opponent in melee range and they can't really get away from you. And because of our talent at level seven, we have a little bit of crowd control in there as well, making it even harder for them to get away from you. It has a lot of uses. You don't have to just try to land God swaps all the time. It's basically what I'm trying to say. And I feel like a lot of people view the ability as max displacement, when it's so much more than that. It really, it really is so much more than that. Let's stop him from recalling. I don't know why he wanted to recall, but if we can, oh, he wanted to get the plan. So if we can delay this for a while, this will be pretty good for us. We are going to go for Titan Killer here at level 16. Shit. All right. You win. You win, Tank. You win. Titan Killer allows us to do percentage-based health damage when we use our double strike, our E ability, uh, which means, see, look at that engage here. It got me right into melee range, and I was able to deal damage to a hero that was way out of my range. Uh, Titan Killer allows us to do percentage-based health damage, which means we have Amateur Opponent to deal more damage to PvE objectives, but once the plant is being piloted by a player, we now have another tool in our arsenal to stop him in his tracks, because of course, if a player's in it, it counts as a player. So we're going to do percentage-based health damage to the plant now as well. 
Illidan thought he could go over that, I suppose. Looks like he can't. And he wants to die for the building! Uh, for it might be worth. I guess there's an argument there that that might be worth. I wouldn't do that, though. Let's put it that way. Uh, let's go ahead and blind these guys. And whoop! <laughs> put them both! Put them both in range of the tower. Good stun by Son or by Tarandi there. Uh, shit, 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 don't pull me. Eh. <laughs> Can I stay alive, please? Please, I really want to live. Please, 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 please. Oh, fuck. Such a weak flesh. A lot of playing Artanis is knowing the limits of what you can and cannot live through with your kit. Uh, the reason I'm landing so many swaps is because, number one, they have a stationary target on their team, which makes it pretty easy to do. But number two, I went and practiced. I went in try mode for like 15 minutes and was just practicing swap techniques on bot Arthas to make sure that I was ready for this. Because Artanis is not a character that I play ever. He's not even on my radar of characters that I play. But I will say, I mean, I seem to be somewhat effective. I am dying a lot. Uh, I think Artana suffers from what I like to call Grey Mane Syndrome, where you just kind of go in all the time, and you don't really know when to stop going in. Uh, it looks like we're slowly but surely being out sieged by the enemy team. We're not really doing much pushing in between these objectives. Maybe that's something I'll start trying to facilitate a little bit more. Even though we don't have the best lane clear in the world, I could still hit some minions. You know what I mean, boys? Uh, the objective is going to be up in five seconds, though. Maybe we'll grab the Garden Terror and try to push with that. Although it's very likely that the enemy team is also going to get a Garden Terror of their own. But amateur opponent in here means we're going to deal a lot of damage. Back it up. Go back in. At level 20, we do become a lot tankier with a shield talent that uh, gives us more cooldown reduction every time we attack. So it goes up from four seconds to six seconds of cooldown reduction every time we strike, which is pretty good. Oh, get it. Or I'll be interrupted. Okay. Okay, there we go, boys. There we go. We're going in. All right, looks like they're cleaning up top just fine. I'm just going to march this right down the middle lane here. How's Toronto doing on a route quest? Not too great. Um, we are going to need the team to defend. But honestly, there's part of me that wants to say, hey, just push with me because I'm already doing this. Enemy team chasing after Genji. I'll definitely use that opportunity to finish off this fort. Hatred of 10, years. Just a couple auto attacks here. We could reposition. Use our movement speed to get away. Try to use our movement speed to get away. I'm telling Toronto to back up here. I don't want her to get killed over this. Seven seconds until we can throw out another plant. We can polymorph all those guys there. We could finish off this. Polymorph again on hammer. And now we're just backing up, boys. Not the best, for sure. Not the best. We will pick up Force of Will here. Try to do something with that. I don't really know what my team was doing for the majority of that plant. I didn't look at the mini-map at all. I just know they weren't with me in any capacity. Genji should be able to get out of that, no problem. So we need to start dealing some damage to this plant before it gets too far into the base. Sergeant Hammer is lagging behind a little bit as well, which is definitely good for us. Looks like the plant's gonna be wasted as our team completely shreds it down. I swapped positions to the other side of the plant to kill whoever was in it, which unfortunately was murky, so I mean, it's not that exciting. But we can't take him down. Good swap on Hammer here. I'll move her a little deeper into the tower. Our uh, Tassadar now trying to deal some damage to us here. He won't get away. You mark my words, he will not get away. Now, if we can mount up here, we can give chase to this enemy team pretty easily. Push, 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 push. Can't type, can't type. Where's P? There we go. Fuck! Team! 
God, we ha this is our biggest advantage we've had this whole game, and we're not utilizing it. Okay, we're up to the towers. All right, we're gonna have to blind here, I think. Hopefully, get a heal from Taronda. We have enough cooldown reduction to pretty much always have a shield up, though. And the enemy team's staggering deaths really hard here. There we go, boys. There we go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I really wish our fucking Sonya was here. I really wish our Sonya was here. All right, get in there, D3. Get in there. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Good job. Good job. We gotta kill it! We gotta kill it! Shit. Ugh. Uh, please! Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Okay. Oh. Good job, team. Good job, team. Holy shit. Sonya, why were you taking a camp? Oh. Here we go, boys. Blinds out. We gotta use those shields to stay alive. Yeah! Yeah! Ugh, Sonya. Fuck. Please help with something. Please fuck you, just help with something. Okay. I'm gonna take this down. We should be pretty good at it. Alright. Our plant is alive. The enemy team is still dead. At least they have two down. We unfortunately did lose our our uh, Gigi. I don't really know how. But Sergeant Hammer is currently defending top lane. Looks like we'll be able to finish this. Oh, bullshit, I was in that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, don't worry, I'll get the rest of them. <laughs> No problem. All right, it is going to be up in five seconds, so I'm not going to engage on this hammer at all. We're just going to back it up. Um, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get. I'll do it. Okay. All with me. Let's go. Let's go. We're going for the core, team. We're going for the core. They want to kill keeps. I'm going for cores. I'm not playing for keeps, boys. We could poke at that. Well, Sonya's poking at that. Let's hope she doesn't die. Actually, let's hope they keep fighting Sonya for as long as humanly possible. Never mind, she died too quick. I don't give a shit about him hitting me. Team, I'm going for the core, team. All right, he'll flip over me. We'll just poly him here. Hitting it hard, boys, hitting it hard. Try to keep this thing alive. Looks like we're gonna be able to kill the core here. Polymorph that Tassadar. We got it, boys. We got it. Oh, why do people not want to attack the core? I don't understand. Why don't people want to push? I don't get it. All right, let's look at my notes. I got kind of distracted in that game. Gave him more build variety. Did I talk about that? I hope I did. Um. Yeah, okay. I think we're good. I think I covered everything. Didn't even get on the board. Didn't even get on the board. Feels so shitty. But that is our Artanis right now. Some people think he's a little bit out of the meta, but I genuinely feel like a good Artanis player can fit into just about any team comp just because of the potential of those swaps. I think it it the the outplay potential is just so good. Just so good. Uh, we do have Amateur Opponent at level 1, Shield Surge level 4, Warp Sickness at 7, Suppression Pulse at 10, Gravi Gravitation Vortex at 13, which is worth taking up all the time in my opinion just because of the massive cooldown reduction you get from that. Titan Killer specifically 
for the Garden Terror of the enemy team. I wanted to melt through that pretty quickly, but it's also good versus double warrior compositions, which are pretty popular right now. Well, double support and double warrior are kind of popular, but it's good here. So we took it and good on Dragonshire. And then we went Force of Will to just become super tanky. You have to always be attacking on Artanis if you want to survive. And I hope I showed that off relatively well today. Let's go ahead and open our chest. Let's see what we get. Garbage. Nothing new. Reroll. I like to get 50 points out of these. 50 gems out of these. Otherwise, it's not worth to me. Also, this is where all of my gold has gone. I was over 200,000 before 2.0 launched. All right, looks good. 50, boys. We did it. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Up next, we're going to be taking a look at Arthas Minifil. I believe I've lost with this character in every year of the A through Z, but this year, he's better than ever. Not, no, I take it back. Resurgence of the Storm used to be a thing. But this year, he's better than he was last year. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. <laughs>